Right, so continuing on, this is our last part of um, the deep lasso de la Hiva. So um, similar to what we covered last time, I had the de la Hiva hook in, I had the cross lead grip, and then last time we looked at how when I put in that deep lasso, when I tried to off balance um, Tyrone to his right and he back steps, then I brought him this way. Okay, so last time with this near side leg bent, we switched to underhook de la Hiva and took his back. But before I, I can do that, Tyrone's going to straighten that leg. So if that's the case, my left hand makes that grip on the pants. And all I'm going to do is um, make a wedge with my left foot and Tyrone's right hip. Push and bring my knee underneath. Now I don't want him attacking this, this um, right leg that's across his body, so that just becomes the butterfly hook. And again, I can let go of the sleeve. It depends on what happens from here. If the leg is straight, one option is, and if Tyrone's hands is on the mat, I can just lift his leg over my head, grab the pants, and we're straight into the crab ride on the back. Let's get another angle on that. So just down there. So we're only going to kind of go down this pathway if he tries to straighten that leg with, from the attempted um, underhook down the heaver. So I've got that cross sleeve grip, got the pants, from there I'm going to hip out, put in the deep lasso, try the backwards off balance, he back steps, bring him down. If he's still on his feet and that leg's bent, it's underhook down the heaver time. But sometimes he'll straighten that leg. So my left foot's just going on the hip. I still have that grip on the pants. And now as I push him away slightly, I'm going to bring my knee underneath and really just let go of that. And now I'm turning into the next guard uh, position. If his hands is on the mat, I'm just going to bring the leg over, grab the pants, pull them forward, and it's on the back. Another route to go down from there. From Dalahiva, cross the grip, again, I'll hip out, put in the lasso, try to off balance him, try to bring him down. When he straightens that leg and I get into X guard and I'm here, sometimes he will drop to his knee. If that's the case, let me just shuffle this way, bro. Perfect. So if that's the case, I'm going to keep the grip with my right hand. My left's coming underneath and I'm going to make that full lock grip. So again, I'm just going to feed the lapel from my right hand to my left hand. And my right foot is just going to come up as if I'm pushing on his hip. And now from there, as I push him away and he pinch my knees, just a slight rotation to my left is going to get the Achilles lock. Throne can defend that by turning away. The second he turns away, just your basic mate brick hook. And again from there, I can grab the pants, move my hip to the inside, and again from there, just attack the crab right again. Get one more angle on that one now. So we're here. Got a heaver, cross sleeve grip. Okay, hip out, put in the lasso, try the backwards off balance, bring him forward. Okay, this time he straightens that leg, so I just put the foot on the hip, push him away, and he turn into X guard. This time he drops to his knee, so now I want to attack this leg. So again, from our position, right hand's going to control. As they sit up, I want to get the sharp bit of my wrist underneath. Achilles from here. Feed the lapel. I'll just turn this way so you can see what I'm doing. So I want to pass it. I've got that connection. Other foot's coming up and now I can just push to put it on. Tyrone can defend it by turning his knee down. So now I don't have that profile. So now from there I can hip out, put in that matrix hook, find the back and now I just move my hips to the inside. And again from there, kick him out on the back. So that's using that X guard off balance and then you have a few pathways either to the footlock or to the back.